Alright, let's get out of the way. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and leave a comment if you like. The angel next door spoils me, Brian, episode 2 starts off with. Not going to lie, I thought he was looking at something way different because in anime that usually happens, but he was just looking at her coat that had some cat hairs, or maybe dog hairs he thought, but it was just from a cat that she was trying to save. And this show knows what it's fucking doing because even though she's hurt, he says, Alright, you wait there, don't fucking move, and I'll come back. And he comes back, and he says, Alright, take off your tights. Well, the real reason was because she injured her ankle, but at the same time, I think, he didn't have to say it that way. He just wanted to make this boring scene a little bit more interesting. So after the main character reveals a really quirky thing that he knows how to do, then the show progresses. I love how weird the show is, while he's saying something nice like, I can't leave an injured person just lying there, they show you him carrying her, and meanwhile they're staring at her ass and they have to make sure that she's really close to his back for some reason, because they're trying to show you something. Otherwise, they would have just shown you him just carrying her home. So the next day, while he's at gym, his friend tells him, What happened to your shorts? Did your dad forget to wash them? No, I just left them at your mom's house. Stuff like that. So the next day, she goes over to his house to give him back the shorts and food because he needs it because he's really weak. And he remembers the day before when they're at the gym, that all the guys were looking at her and that there's a really hot guy that everybody liked. And he said, I'm just putting it out there, no need to think about it too much, but do you like that guy? And she flat out says, nope. Uh-uh, I don't even know who that is really. And I see what she's doing here. She says, since all that matters that you're good looking, doesn't that mean that you should be attracted to me? So as he points out, that means that she knows she's attractive, clearly, because in other anime, I feel like they don't know. And even though she's cooked him a full meal and it's really well prepared, he still says, you know what would be really great? Having a fresh meal so I can eat it right there and then. And now I know why she's an angel, because instead of her saying, you should just go and buy some food downstairs, she says, alright, then I'll cook for you in your house. That way she doesn't spend money on food and she just used his ingredients. But then he says, aren't you gonna feel weird because it's just you and me and I might do something weird? And she says, if you try to do something weird or anything, I'll hit you in the balls. I'll hit them so hard that you can't have kids and that you won't be able to feel downstairs anymore. Plus, I don't think you're really into me and I'm not really your type. And he says, well, how do you know that you're not my type? And she says, well, you're not pestering me. You're not walking around me a lot or trying to figure things out about me. So I think that you're not. It sounds like she has a lot of boys walking around her, trying to smell her, trying to overly help her. So they reach an agreement where he pays half for the ingredients and pays her for shopping and one of them cleans up one day, the other one cleans up the other day and if they're busy one day, then they have to tell each other one day before. So they're very adult for being teenagers and I'm thinking, how many people out there know people like this? If you know people like this or people like that, please leave a comment. So he goes to her house and for some reason he has a bunch of materials there but it looks like it's never been used and she says, how do you have this stuff? So that means he must have gone to the grocery store not bought food, and instead just decided to buy a bunch of metal for no reason because he doesn't really cook. Honestly, he probably just makes eggs with nothing on them or a sandwich. Here's another crazy question. How many of you have had a girl over to your house and said, not said, thought that it looks like I found my wife just based on her being in the kitchen? And I would think that's pretty fucking rude because you don't really base off anything except the way that she looks and the thing that she can cook. But there's probably some guys out there like, yeah, that's all I need. So they eat dinner together and while they're eating, he starts noticing, wow, she's very good looking and she has a really great personality. And after they're done eating, he asks, don't you feel weird cooking for a guy you don't even like? And in my head, I'm thinking, obviously she likes you. She's in your house cooking for you. But instead she'll say, oh, it's because you're real unhealthy and I just like cooking, so don't worry about it. So the next day he goes to school and his best friend's like, you don't look very good. You know what would cheer you up? Getting a girlfriend. And then his girlfriend comes in and he starts patting her on the head. And he says, what? This is normal. Most guys just pat the girls on their head. And I've got to say, she's a cute girl, but she's pretty stupid because she doesn't even know what he's talking about. He's not saying that he has an imaginary girlfriend, he's saying if you were to have one. I guess she maxed out on cuteness and has a decrease in smarts. Oh, I dissed her there. So that same night, he goes home and they have dinner again. And she's checking over her homework so she can get a perfect grade. But then she says she studied so much that she's already in next year's curriculum. And I'm thinking, then why the fuck are you in that grade and not in a higher grade? Because if you're that smart, you shouldn't even be in this grade. But you won't guess who also is smart. Well, the guy that's with her, the main character, he's a genius, even though he doesn't do anything. So because she cooks for him and hangs out with him after school, he says, I noticed you didn't have a lot of stuff. What would you like so I can give it to you as a present for doing stuff for me? And she says, hmm, a sharpening stone for more cooking, right? But I guess every girl is different. And so he says, hmm, 
I don't want to give her that because her birthday's coming up soon and I want to give her something special. So he tells his best friend, what would you get your girlfriend? And he says, usually hand lotion because that's what they usually like. So that didn't really help. So who does he ask? His girlfriend. And he says, what would you give a girl? And she says, us girls like. And that's what he gives her. He gives her stuff bare with food. And usually she says, I don't want presents for anyone. But for you, it's an exception, I suppose. And I guess she doesn't really get presents from anyone. But this time, she's very happy that she got a stuffed bear. Alright guys, that's the end of the video. Peace.